Hello to each and every one of you. Welcome back um, to Google Maths and Science. Um, so today we're going to be looking at um, a revision for geography, paper one. So this paper was written last year, guys, just last year. So I'm going to be helping you to have this um, revision. So last, last year, September, November 2022, so these were trials. Um, for Eastern Cape. So guys, um, let's check. So let's, so this lesson is taking us to line thunderstorm. Okay. Yes. It's fundamentally making us to understand the concept of line thunderstorm, how they form the process that take place, um, just after as well as the impacts that are being brought by these line thunderstorm in the interior of South Africa. Okay. Yes. So guys, as you can see, um, that we have the map of South Africa, okay, yes, they represent South Africa. Inside we have the low pressure around, we have um, overcutted clouds and so on to show the significance of, of line thunderstorms. As also we have the high pressure cells, okay, yes, we have the South Atlantic high pressure cell on the west side, or on the west coast, and we have the South Indian high pressure cell. Okay, by the way, guys, I've made a lesson or I have a lesson in this YouTube channel that is fundamentally explaining or the, the, the fundamental explanations of the formation of the moisture front as well as the process. Okay, yes, so you could see it's um, geograph moisture front, you can search it, you'll find it. Okay, yes, but by the way, I'm going to also try to um, emphasize. When answering these questions, okay, yes, just to make um, things easier for you. Okay, so we have the South Atlantic high pressure cell on the west, and we have the South Indian high pressure cell. You can see that the positioning of these high pressure cells are at least below or downwards um, the South Africa. Okay, yes, meaning that it's summer now, right? Yes as well as the significance of the low pressure okay in the interior of south africa okay yes um yeah that quite means that it's summer if ever it was a high pressure it was going to be winter and in winter there are no line thunderstorms okay yes so um yeah that's how it goes guys um i think i've interpreted our diagram so effectively so that you understand when answering the questions okay yes so that's the very best thing that you should also do when answering your questions okay yeah um so question 1.4.1 says what are line thunderstorms okay yes so the definition of line thunderstorm is required okay yes so you can say guys a line thunderstorm okay is a form of thunderstorm is a type of thunderstorm that okay in a form of a line or in a vertical line way okay in the interior of south africa during the summer season that is covering a greater vertical area from the north okay from the north west of south africa to the south um east of of South Africa okay yes so that's the definition because the line thunderstorm okay in this way okay let me use blue they okay in in this way okay in a form of a great vertical line okay yes so all of these all of this area is covered by by big big or huge clouds which are called cumulonimbus clouds okay yes therefore the line thunderstorms are going to occur in this covered area okay great great covered area in a line way as you can see okay yes so that's the definition of the line thunderstorm okay yes so try to make it sure that you've mentioned all the concepts that are mentioned in my definition so let me repeat so you can say a line thunderstorm is a form of a thunderstorm that occurs in the interior of south africa during summer season that is occurring in a line or in a great vertical area, okay? Yes. From northwestern um, direction to the southeastern direction, 
okay yes so yeah you can just um, put it in your own way but i've tried to mention all the concepts that are needed when defining the line gamma sign okay i think i've this i've defined it okay so let's move to the second question okay okay so the second question says how do line thunderstorms differ from general thunderstorms experienced over South Africa? Okay, yeah. So you know that there are just other normal thunderstorms that are occurring during summer season or maybe um, in other seasons, okay? But mostly in summer because in summer, most of our universities these heavy heavy rainfalls, okay? Yes, associated with these tremendous storms that are causing these um, very, very thunderstorms, okay? Yes. So, how do line thunderstorms differ from general? So, how do these line thunderstorms that I've explained to you they differ from other thunderstorms experienced over South Africa? So, let's go straight to the uh, answers. Number one, you can say these thunderstorms they cover a very very great vertical area. Okay, yes. Or you can just say a very very great or widespread area. Okay, yes. So they cover a very very great vertical area as i showed you that they occur in a lineway from northwestern direction to southwestern direction in the interior of south africa number one number two the duration that takes place or the duration of these light thunderstorms is um is higher okay they take a very very long duration let me say okay yes so they take a long duration to okay imagine line uh, thunderstorms that are occurring in a long duration okay yes so those thunderstorms are going to be going to be destructive so meaning that also these line thunderstorms are very destructive okay so number one they are destructive number two they they cover or they okay in a widespread area or they okay in a great vertical area or they cover a great area in a line way okay yes number three you can say um i've mentioned destructive um, you can also say they occur in long duration, okay? They take long time to occur, okay? Yes. So that's how it goes. I think I've nailed everything. That So we're going to choose because there's only one mark needed there, okay? Yes. So you are going to choose which one you want to apply when answering into your examinations or into your trials, okay? Let's jump to number one. 4.3 so 1.4.3 says state the evidence from the sketch to show that line thunderstorms are prevalent over the central part of south africa so let's underline the word prevalent here okay yes so this basically means that these line thunderstorms are in a widespread area of south africa okay yes so from the sketch there as you can see what shows here that, okay, South Africa is now experiencing, or the central part of South Africa is experiencing the line thunderstorm. Number one, the significance or the appearance of the low pressure. Okay, there's low pressure there, meaning that there were two masses that met to form the Malaysia front, and there were big clouds called cumulonimbus clouds that were formed. Okay, yes, so number one, it's the low pressure number two is the clouds as you can see okay yes you can see those clouds okay yes overcasted clouds okay which um shows cumulus clouds okay yes you can say that so how many do they need it there so um we only needed um, two okay so i've mentioned low pressure and and, and cumulus clouds, okay, or overcasted clouds in the interior of South Africa, as you can see. Okay, yeah. Let's just erase that and move to the following question, guys. Okay. I hope you're with me, guys. Uh, and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, right, for more lesson comments. Uh, let me just erase this. Okay, so let's move this jump to 1.4.4. So 1.4.4 says, what role did the South Atlantic high-pressure cell play in the development of a moisture front in the middle 
of the sketch. Okay. Okay, so what row did this? Because this is the South Atlantic, as I told you. So this is the South. Let me use blue for cold, okay? Yes. Uh, let me just erase this. So sorry, guys. Let me, okay, so this is the South Atlantic High Pressure Cell, right? Yes. South Atlantic High Pressure Cell. So you know that the South Atlantic High Pressure Cell is rotating in an anti-clockwise direction as you know that this is the south atlantic anticyclone okay yes but they are dominantly um in winter okay yes so they are moving in a anti-clockwise direction okay yes in an anti-clockwise direction so as they move in an anti-clockwise direction you know that in this position we have the southwest wind that are blowing so this South Atlantic high pressure cell, its role is to diverge the southwesterly winds, which are very, very cold and dry, dense winds, okay, into the interior of South Africa, into the central part of, of South Africa, okay? Yes, so that's the role that this, this South Atlantic high pressure cell plays, okay, in the formation of the moisture front. I repeat. <clears throat> this South Atlantic high pressure cell, it diverges the southwesterly winds, which are cold, dry, and very, very dense winds. Okay? Yes, into the central part of South Africa. So, this South Atlantic high, they diverges the southwesterly winds. Okay? Yes, so that they can meet with the northeasterly winds from the other um, anticyclone or the, from the other high pressure cell. Okay? Yes. And so that's how it goes. Uh, yeah, so that's it. That's your answer. So you're going to answer in that way, okay? Yes. Um, so that's the row. Um, uh -huh. Let me erase that so that you can move to the following question. Uh -huh. Okay, so let's move to the following question. What's the following question says? The following question says that... Um, Explain the significance of the northeast winds in the formation of the line thunderstorm. Okay, let's talk about the northeast winds now, guys. Okay, yes, the, the significance of the northeast winds. So, in the formation of the most front. So, the northeast winds. What are these northeast winds, and where they are coming from? So, the northeast winds are these winds that are coming from the east, okay? Yes, from this east ocean, where, where they originate. So, you know that also, we also have this south Indian high, okay? Yes, so this south Indian, Indian high pressure cell on this side. That is situated in the warm Mozambique current, or that is situated where? In the east ocean, also known as Indian Ocean. So that's why we call it South Indian High Pressure Cell. So this cell is rotating in an anticlockwise direction also, okay? Because they are both anticyclone with the one that is on the west, okay? Yes. So as it is rotating in an anticlockwise direction, it will send, okay? It will send these warm winds into, to enter the what? To enter the the interior of South Africa from a northeasterly direction, okay? Yes. So, these winds, mind you, they, are, they originate from the East Ocean, which is known as Indian Ocean, the very, very warm ocean. So, these winds are warm, moist winds, simple, meaning that these winds have humid air. So, when these winds invade the interior of South Africa, they meet with what? They meet with, the, with those um south atlantic um cold winds okay yes so these winds have this moist air and they are lighter in volume okay yes so as they are lighter winds okay they got undercut by these cold winds these cold dense winds you know that something that is cold is going to be underneath to force something that is lighter Okay, yes, which is this humid air, 
or which is this moist air from these north easterly winds so these are the north easterly winds okay yes from these north easterly winds to rise to form these big big clouds that you can see in our diagram okay over castle clouds is known as cumulus clouds and that's why internal storm is going to okay or the moisture front is now is now um is now um we can clearly see the moisture front okay yes i think i've explained it okay yes so the significance of this are these not of these not steady winds um uh, yeah that's how it goes guys okay yes so let's move to the last question i believe let's first erase that so sorry Okay, so we have 1.4.6. 1.4.6 says, Why would line thunderstorms have a negative environmental impact in the eastern half of the country? Okay, so here we are going to be talking about the negative environmental impact that is brought by this line thunderstorms okay yes so mind you i said to you line thunderstorms take a long duration line thunderstorms are very destructive and line thunderstorms cover a wide spread of area okay yes but the most common characteristics that we have to look at so that you can answer this effective and easy is to look at destructive and being um um taking long duration mean that it will be heavy rainfall that is telling you long duration okay Yes, so these line thunderstorms, you are going to say the negative impact that are going to brought by these line thunderstorms. Number one, they're going to distract the ecosystem. That's number one. If the ecosystem is being distracted, meaning that there will be a decrease in the biodiversity because other animals are going to drown. Okay, yes, number one, and other animals can survive. Okay, because the plants are being the plants that the animals live in the river uh, may be washed away and so on. So the biodiversity is going to decrease. Number two, we can also say that, um, so number two is biodiversity is going to decrease and number one is uh, ecosystem is going to be destructed. And number three, we can also say that um, there will be floods, okay? If there are floods, know that floods are negative um, natural hazards, okay, in the environment. Number three, there will be erosion of the topsoil, okay? So the topsoil will be eroded, meaning that the fed tanks will be eroded and there will be no arable land for farmers to, to either um, um, grow their crops, okay? Yes. So the other thing that you can also say is that, um, um, okay, so you know that when it's raining, the topsoil is going to wash away either or from from the farms, also from the farms. So when these topsoil or from when this topsoil is being washed away, you know that it's going to wash into the river because and now the impact, the negative impact in this is that mind you, in farms we apply the fertilizers. So the fertilizers that are from farms are going to be washed away into the river okay yes so the, the the water inside the river becomes toxic becomes toxic also and that disadvantages the animals that live inside the river and that's how also the ecosystem becomes to be structured okay yes so we can mention a lot of things guys and and and, and i think that's the end of our lesson video um, please don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video have a great day cheers